on this beautiful sunny morning because this guy is going to do some crazy fun things. That's right, I am. That's right, he says that today he wants to show us that we can do more than we think we can. Exactly, so I'm going to perform feats of strength, skill, and all around amazing stuff. Yep, yeah, yeah. today yeah. he's doing five activities in five different sports that are super extra difficult. Yep. All five of them. Let's get right to it and watch him show off his soccer goalie skills. Let's do this! To start the day, he's going to try and stop some hard shots and block some epic kicks. Let's go! Come on. All right. I'm ready. Go ahead. Oh, I'm not going to kick it. You're not? <laughs> no. He is! He's the league leader in goals, and he's ready to go. Okay, fire away. Let's see if he can block these shots. Mm. Oh. Oh. I don't know if he's okay. Okay, that last one didn't go like I wanted, but I can do this. Wait, not this goal, that goal. A full court shot? Yep, see how many you can make from here. That's your next challenge. All right, I've got this. Okay. What is happening? Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, this is it. Last one, I can feel it. Yep, but I'm going to do it. Today, he is going to do a perfect dive off of a super high, high dive. That's right, I, I am. <gasps> I'm talking 30 feet tall on a tiny, thin diving board. You, Pete, Pete, you're standing there above the water, waiting to jump in. You ready? ready? Yep. <gasps> you sure? Yep. Okay. Let's do this. He's ready. Okay, okay. okay. All right, I got it. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. Ah! Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 can't do it. No, no, Trina, I, no, no, I can't do it. I, no, We're gonna no, cut. I'm sorry. Pete, I... I got it. I'm sorry. We're back, and this one's simple. It is. I'm going to kick an extra long field goal from right here. Exactly. That is it, right? Yep. You're sure? Yep. Great. There's a bag of footballs right there. Go for it. Get on. Get on out of here. Oh. This should be easy. All I have to do is return a volleyball spike. I should be able to do that. Let's go. Oh, I'm not going to do it. No. <laughs> of course you're not. She is. Oh. You ready? Just time out. I wonder where he's going. I'm ready now. Go ahead. I'm good. It's all 
I get? He's just, he's just a scary man down here. I, I, oh, I can't. I'm just gonna rest for a sec. <sighs> that was tough. Yes, it was. And you tried really, really hard, but it wasn't good enough. Nope. And that's what we wanted to talk to you guys about. That's right. All season long, we've been talking to you guys about how God created the world. Me, you, everyone, and everything. How God loves us and has a perfect plan for each of our lives. Yep. He also created people from the very beginning to be perfect. But there's a problem. Just like I had today, you see, those first people sinned. And sin is anything we think, say, or do that displeases God. Sin entered the world, and because of this, every single person sins. Everyone. Everyone. Even you, even me. You see, we can't do anything on our own to fix our sin problem. Just like I couldn't do anything on my own in these events. And the penalty of sin is death, to be separated from God forever. The Bible, which is God's word to us, says for everyone has sinned, we all fall short of God's glorious standard. God is perfect, and His standard is perfection. That's right. We can't save ourselves. The Bible says, God loved the world so much that He gave His one and only Son so that everyone who believes in Him will not perish, but have eternal life. Exactly. Over 2,000 years ago, God sent Jesus, His only Son, to live a perfect life and paid the punishment for my sin. Not only that, He defeated death and rose from the grave. So Jesus stepped in for me so I could have a relationship with God and live the life that He has planned for me to fulfill His purpose for my life. Yeah, and the amazing thing is, not only did He pay my punishment, but He paid yours and everyone else's. He did. There are no magic words that will save you. Jesus has already paid the price for your sin for you. All you have to do is accept what Jesus did for you by giving Him your life and having faith in Jesus. I'll tell you what. If you guys want to give your life to Jesus, I'll pray out loud and you say something similar to Jesus. Awesome. Let's do this. Jesus, I've messed up. I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. I can't live up to your glorious standard. I believe that you took my place and died on the cross for my sins, defeated death and rose from the grave. I believe you have a plan for my life that is so much better than anything I could plan for myself. Jesus, I give you my life. Help me to live for you. Thank you for saving me, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You guys are on God's team now. And you know what the best part about being on a team is? You don't have to do it alone. Exactly. It's important that you connect with other believers, people who have also given their life to Jesus, like at the church where you played Upward or another church in your community. They can come alongside of you and help you take your first steps as a new believer. What a great day. What a great decision. <laughs> How are you feeling? Great, great. <laughs> but really, really, really tired and really, really, really sore. We'll see you guys later. That Why would, don't you go get some rest? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, do you need help, bud? Yeah, yeah, All right, no just take it. Oh, okay. okay. oh All right. boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's All right. worse yeah, than I thought. All right, okay. one, two, yep, one foot. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah.